it looks like now and this is what it's supposed to look like. Never buy these cheap fans. Nobody pray for me. It been a day for me. Yeah, yeah. All right, what we got going on here is I've been having a coolant leak on my Audi for a while now, and I couldn't find where it was coming from. So right now we got Daniel's drone in his hand with the camera hooked up to the TV, trying to find this leak, and that's it right there on the bottleneck. Washer drip. <laughs> Dude, that's the leak. Something way higher up here, and it's dripping all the way down, and then just dripping forever and ever, right out of the bottleneck. Could it be from where the head meets then? Oh God. See if you can go up more. All right, right, oh, that was looking good there for a second. Okay, now it looks like it's coming out of the motor, maybe right there. It might be coming out of the motor a little bit. Well, with the daily down right now, I think that the moped's about to be the daily for a little bit. I'm gonna have to weld this light though because this thing broke on the last ride and I don't want it to fall off again and pull all my wiring out. So fix that. My wheel is super bent in the front, so I might have to put a new wheel on soon and uh, swap over the wheels. I think I'm gonna get a new muffler for this thing soon too because this thing is like I'm ignorantly loud now. I don't know what happened to the muffler on it, but it never used to be this loud. All right, this video is jumping around a little bit. I think I left off talking about my Audi and what was broken on it. Uh, basically, my coolant flange going to the back of the motor. It got old, it's cracked, so it's plastic, it's bound to break. So I gotta fix that, which is gonna be a pain in the ass, but I ordered all the stuff for it. So I gotta wait to fix it. Um, so for now, I'm finishing this video with working on the moped and uh, probably going on a ride. There's really not much to do with the moped. I gotta fix my gas cap because RJ broke it and lost my uh, vent valve for it. And my headlight, I had a little weld holding on to this thing because uh, it never screwed in right. And that broke, so I'm just gonna tack weld that back on. And uh, the wheel's super bent up front. I have another moped wheel. Um, I'm gonna put it on the front and I just gotta swap the tires over and paint the rim. I might get rid of the white rims already because I don't know if I like it. I might just do them black again and then just keep the white wall tires. So I'll probably do that. Um, I probably should have done that today, but it's already getting late, so I'm just gonna fix this for now and then go on a little ride. Get a Mop Boy sticker. They're in the description. Everybody who asks how to get a Mop Boy sticker, I put it in the description of every video. So go to the description if you want a Mop Boy sticker. Get them. I got, I got pink and white ones. These pink ones are pretty sick. They're like super bright, so. It looks pretty cool, but because my Audi's down right now, uh, my BMW is not ready for road, and my bug is not registered, so I literally don't have a car right now. I would ride my dirt bike, but it's sketchy to ride that. I need to still, uh, I still need to get street tires and legalize that. So I'm literally riding my moped to work. So I'm about to moto vlog, I think, um, for the rest of the time I have to daily my moped and, and try to see if I can make more uploads of actually just riding the moped since I'm gonna have to be using it to go back and forth to work, so. Um, yeah, that's happening too. She's still somewhat clean for a riding the other day up on that road by the dirt. I thought I'd be thrashed by now already, but a couple things are falling apart, a little loose on her, but uh, she's dialed right now. Huh? Hold up. How are you been? Okay. All right, kid. I'm going to look at this. I bet. Uh. Yeah, please. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Check this out. So I just got done. I just got done riding this thing home, um, which I just filmed a moto vlog on. And I heard something crazy on the way home. And looking in here, it looks like all my fan blades are gone. And I remember everybody commenting when I first bought this thing how shitty it was. But when I was riding, I saw like red coming out. I literally thought that the motor was shooting out my air filter. For some reason, I thought it, like ate the air filter or something. But it's actually pieces of this fan flying out behind me, and I just see them flying like little chunks of plastic floating away. Um, well, that's crazy. So I'm gonna go put my stock one back in now, but I gotta take this one off real quick. But that was 
that's just crazy how fast that thing blew up out of nowhere. This thing really serves like no purpose since I don't even have my my fan shrouds even around my motor in the front. But it looks cool so. Look at that. Literally all the fan blades broke. What a what a cheap fan. So that's what it looks like now and this is what it's supposed to look like. Everybody warned me when I bought this from Amazon that it was going to break, and they weren't lying. Stick to the OEM one. It's literally so much bigger, too. Look at the difference in size. It's so crazy. Don't buy this cheap shit. Also, I'm tired of my exhaust constantly breaking, only having one bracket down there. I don't have the one that goes around the muffler. Uh, so I'm going to make a secondary bracket going from back here to this bolt, and then weld it to my exhaust just to hold it up. I don't want to mount it from below, but that's all the weight, so I'm going to get this one above it pulling it up and then that should stop my exhaust from breaking so often so just gonna bend this little piece of metal it's pretty thick and then I'm just gonna drill a hole in it and then bolt the other side and then weld it to the header on this side so there's the bracket I came up with it I'll tack it here and then once it gets hot I'll bend it down a little bit and then I'll weld it all the way around to the header so that's gonna be that hopefully that'll keep my exhaust from breaking exhaust bracket done welded on there now I just repainted this cover it's more silver now it was like faded before I don't know what happened to the other paint it was like cold when I painted last time it got all messed up so that would go all right we got exhaust rock solid now painted side cover new fan headlight dialed so scooters back up scooters ready to ride I'm literally in the process of filming another video as we speak right now. So I'm about to go on a ride and ride again tomorrow and then probably the day after that. So a lot of riding coming soon, a lot more videos. So let's go test her out. I'll see you guys in the next one.